right now we're i feel we're still in the infancy of 5g we haven't even gotten to 5g advanced yet like that midpoint we haven't even gotten there yet um we'll see what happens it's such a shame that t-mobile is relinquishing the um spectrum licenses uh they might regret this in the future you think bad for the industry moose oh yeah I think if the only time that you can take advantage of millimeter wave is going to be when you go to a stadium and they haven't even deployed it in every stadium, especially before the World Cup, so what's the point? They only have about 14 months. Actually, I'm not even going to give them that. They have a little bit more. They have 18 months from now to fully deploy in every single one of those venues for the World Cup, including the fan zones. Moose. T-Mobile. They, um, yeah. I looked at the LA map where they decided yeah. to retain the licenses. It's yeah. literally SoFi Stadium. It's that block. Yeah. It's just that it's block. It's literally nowhere else in LA. Yep. Yeah. Can I say one more thing? All yeah. right. They're giving up the Moomer with Spectrum. What do you think is going to happen next? I can, I can give you guys a, a quick hint. It's going to be a merger. Oh no! Come on, bro. Yeah, there's a not, reason why. No, not this moose stuff. No. No, it's gonna happen. No, it's gonna happen. Stop <laughs> it! Stop it! They give up their military wave. They're gonna need that that juicy fiber from somebody. Oh, uh, damn. To power the okay, think about it. To power their two dot five, where are they gonna get the? All they have is two dot five. They need freaking fiber everywhere. That's the only way they're gonna survive with density. They have to get it from somewhere. It's gonna be a cable co. Do you think it's going to be rectal or do you think it's going to be Comcast? It's not going to be Comcast because they already bought Spectrum Comcast. Unfortunately, for my, you know, it's going to be rect It's going to be rect Spectrum. <laughs> Screw it again, right? Oh, my goodness. All right. So, to answer Network Nerd, he said, who's going to sweep up those licenses? Verizon. I think it's going to be Verizon. B, jump in. Well, it makes sense. Verizon is the only one that really takes millimeter wave seriously anyway. So I wouldn't be surprised. All right, B, what's your take on T-Mobile relinquishing their millimeter wave? They're idiots. <laughs> Pretty simple. You see what I'm saying? You see what Just I'm saying? She's neat? Very so, simple. I, I don't want to sound like an idiot. So if, if this is totally not possible, let me know. Can they not just sell it? Uh, I think they have a build out requirement. So oh, no, they cannot yeah. just sell it. Wow. Yeah. So that requirement has a certain percentage of uh of feet. So hold on, this is a really good indicator that T Mobile is just so spoiled. They they get everything they want, including this and they get it and they're like, We don't even want it anymore. Max, can I put my conspiracy hat on? Yeah. I think this is them jockeying for position to force the FCC's hand. We need more mid band. We so can't goes, build millimeter wave. We're not, you know, well, we can't do it. So just we need more mid band. Wait, wait. So you're saying that the same narrative that ATT has been saying for months, we need more spectrum auctions. Yes. That's yeah. T Mobile now is saying this? Yeah. 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 What? I, th I think behind closed doors, Moose. All the carriers are saying the same thing. We need more mid band. I think they're all saying that. Yeah. But the FCC is probably saying behind closed doors, okay, we'll try to do that, but we need you building millimeter wave too. We need to use these licenses. <laughs> Team Bubble saying, yo, we need charter. And the we carriers are like, wait a minute. This is not easy to do. This shit only travels a block or two. And by the way, I've been testing 5GSA on uh, on AT&T, and the only time that you can see sub 10 milliseconds, like s consistently, actually, I would even say sub 10, sub 6 consistently is on millimeter wave. To get sub 15 consistently, you're on uh, C-band, right? But I'm telling you, I'm just so disappointed. T-Mobile, what what are they doing, man? This is absolutely insane. What is AT and T doing? 
What is it? What about AT and T? They're still doing millimeter wave. Yeah. The two oh, mediocre yeah. companies not, in the industry even, hey, get the get the it. most from the government. Hey, they're not even doing C band around here, Moose. No, they're doing C band. If you're in a Nokia not, market today, just wait. Yeah. Oh, that just wait. Been, I have been. I have been. It's blink and you miss it. It's blink well, and you miss it. Look, we just found a site near Chacha Sneed's place that out of nowhere got upgraded. Okay. Congrats, you found one site. How about you? No, no, no. It's not just one. I'm just saying, like, not... there's, there's, right now, it's going to be like in random locations outside of cities, unless they were able to get the permits to go and upgrade, right? But you're going to start seeing in 25, all of these cities that have Nokia are going to be drastically improved. I mean, Chacha Sneed already confirmed it in his video. Upload is better. The consistency on the download is better. Everything's better. It's yeah, latency. It, it, it's it's better if it, it's better if they actually choose to deploy it. And I'm still waiting. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I just want to say, like, T-Mobile 600 megahertz. It's complete ass. It's just, it's it's so bad. It's so horrible. Bro, but we we can't look at the low band and say, oh yeah, no, you know, like this is the way of the future. It's not. No, I it's know a, it's horrible. It's a, Their mid band is so it's good. A though. It's a supplemental connection. It stabilizes the connection. It's a part of the connection, but the 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 end game is no longer low band. Like that's not a discussion we're having anymore. It's 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 mid band and and millimeter wave moving forward, right? Mid band for most of the space, and then millimeter wave to carry the carry the mail when it's really needed. Uh, not in T-Mobile's case anymore. I, I just, I don't... Their network is carried around by There's just not enough. Yeah, there's just not enough mid-band to do it. They're just gonna, they're gonna need more spectrum. You know, especially if they're gonna just do it with low and mid-bands. It is so gratifying to hear this, the conversation change. The narrative not too long ago was Verizon's crazy for investing so much in millimeter wave. Now, all of a sudden, it's the, it's the the gold be, is the, which be which platforms were you on before where they weren't saying that? Oh, it was this one. It was plenty of people who were in the comments who were saying these types of things. A lot of people who were denigrating millimeter wave, even across the industry, the so don't the, the you know the so called quote unquote analysts and industry experts. There were plenty of people who were saying, "Yo, millimeter wave isn't going to do anything. It's not going to help." Millimeter now, wave is one of those things that if you decide you're going to do it and you actually do it it can be meaningful it's pretty clear for those that don't want to do it they're they're out on it that that's going to be the sentiment that's you fine know? so it's a it's a key differentiator it within is, the market yeah because everybody's going to have mid-band great Correct. yeah but millimeter wave is going to be an opportunity for whoever decides to invest in it i.e horizon for example to be able to differentiate itself among its competitors with respect to venues and in building systems and things like that, that's going to help the major markets, the major urban areas, maybe, maybe even some of the suburban areas that have millimeter wave deployed are going to be that much better off. The customers who have Verizon are going to be that much better off. And since we know that that's the, the end game, how is Verizon not charge a little more than everybody else too? Why wouldn't I do, why wouldn't I do that? I'm doing all this investing. I'm the one if that's that's doing all the Hold innovation. On. I'm doing all the research and development. Why wouldn't I charge a little bit more? But B, I thought all the carriers were only within fifteen to twenty dollars of each other. What well, they are. <laughs> well, they, well, they, well, well, they are. Okay. But if if uh, if you're talking about within twenty dollars, if the floor is ten bucks, yeah, I'm gonna charge thirty if I believe I have a better product. That's still a twenty dollar difference. Ten dollars and thirty. It's a twenty dollar difference. Why wouldn't I charge a little more than everybody else if I know I have a better product? Like, why wouldn't I? It doesn't mean that things are not like the delta between the companies is smaller than it ever has been, which is a win for the consumer. 